All right, so ladies and gentlemen, when, when we're solving a uh, literal equation, um, it's just like solving multi-step or any other um, linear equations. But basically, the main thing we need to do is simplify and get our variable by itself. So obviously, when I have parentheses, just like when we did with multi-step, we need to apply distributive property, right? OK. So I apply distributive property. I get ay plus ac equals by minus bc. Does everybody follow me with that? All right. And then, just like multi, when we had did multi-step equations with the variable on both sides, again, to solve an equation, you've got to get the variable to the same side. So again, we're trying to solve for y. That means I want to get the y's to the same side and isolate them. So to get by off the side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract. Actually, let me use a different color. I'm going to subtract by on both sides. Therefore, by minus by is going to go to 0. I can't subtract by from any of these terms. So I have ay plus ac minus by equals negative bc. All right? But again, our idea, yeah? You mean by or ay? Yeah, like, or if you would do positive bc, or like, how do you know? How do you know? It doesn't you really matter because if if I keep the by here, then I can add bc over here. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But then I'd have to subtract the ay over there. So it doesn't really matter. You can do it either way. Like you could do the same thing. We can solve the equation the same way. There's not like, the main important thing, again, the idea is to get the variables on the same side. Left side, right side. Doesn't matter. So I decided to get the variables on the left side, right? See how they're on the left side? And I eliminated on the right side. If you want to put them on the right side, then that's fine. That's what you can do. It's, there's no right or wrong in that, in, into your question, if that makes sense. And, but the thing is, if you add the BC over there, you still have a variable on both sides. So adding BC didn't really help you out, right? Unless you add BC over here and then subtract the AY, then you'd have the, both the Ys on the same side. So you would really need to subtract a variable, a number with a variable on both sides? It do, uh, yeah, one of, them has to, one of them has to be subtracted on one side, be eliminated, essentially. So then here, I need to get rid of this AC, because I only want the variables. So I subtract AC on both sides. And again, you could have done that like the opposite way. Um, so therefore, I have ay minus by equals negative bc minus ac. Now, this is why I kind of picked a difficult problem to start off with, which I'll be more than happy to go over an easier one with you. Um, but one thing to remember about this is we have two y's. Remember when we did multi-step with the variable on the same side, you got to combine them to one variable, right? We only solve for one variable, correct? So the way, this is a little bit difficult because we haven't gone through on this, but the way to get this to be one variable is I can factor this out. If you guys remember your factoring, a minus b equals negative bc minus ac. So I can factor that out. Then I, what is happening to my variable? My variable is being multiplied by the expression a minus b. It's not like being multiplied by a number. It's being multiplied by an expression. So to undo multiplying by an expression, I need to divide by the expression. Therefore, my final answer is y equals negative bc minus ac all over a minus b. All right, thank you.